hidden field manipulation attack uh, it it is one of the top rated web application vulnerability uh, which the attacker uh, will manipulate the hidden fields of the web application and uh, he'll misuse the web application okay so uh, maybe let's discuss uh, let, let's see uh, about this attack in our lab using a fiddler tool also okay so uh, first of all let's understand about this attack so as i said uh, basically what the attacker do the attacker will manipulate the hidden field of the web application and he will make use of the application in the way he want okay uh, it can be done in multiple ways okay so let, let's uh, understand about it when a user makes a selection on a html page the selection is typically stored as form right form uh, field values only and it's sent to the application as http request right, using a get or the post method so the html can also store fields uh, field values as the hidden files hidden fields okay which are actually not rendered to the screen by the browser but are uh, collected and submitted as a parameter uh, during the submission okay so the attacker can examine the html code of the page and change the hidden field values in order to change post request to the server so as i said um, uh, it can be done in a multiple ways so basically uh, manipulating the hidden fields of the web application is what this refers to okay uh, so uh, in some cases they'll also uh, you know make a changes from the parameters as well once they find that hidden value okay maybe okay. fine okay so this is our uh, vulnerable web server right so let me log in with my uh, user account maybe student one i'll used to do okay so now i logged in uh, to the vulnerable web server we just consider that this is a vulnerable web server yes this is a vulnerable web server uh, which we can do all kinds of web application attacks right so uh, now uh, what i'm going to do maybe as it is an auction server right i'm just clicking something mm, okay so you see here uh, there is an advertisement for uh, a laptop okay uh, used ibm laptop is sale for triple six us dollars okay so this is what uh, the auction um, advertisement is so if anyone want to purchase this if i want to purchase this laptop i should pay uh, the amount of triple six uh, us dollars usd sign to get this uh, device right so basically I'm, what i'm going to do is i'm going to alter the value by changing in the by changing the hidden values right uh, i'm going to actually it it is a triple six right i'm going to purchase the same laptop for just six dollars okay uh, maybe i can <coughs> open my fiddler tool it should be so now what i'm going to do as i said even if i'm clicking here it shows that i need to if i want to purchase this it is triple six us dollars usd right okay fine so now what i'm going to do from my fiddler tool okay fine inspector okay so i'm going to make a rule automatic breakpoint so before request okay so which means that even whatever request i submit from that uh, web application it will not execute because it need to be executed from the fiddler tool that is what it says so i click here buy now okay but it will not proceed further rather if you see here that packet that request will be captured here okay and it is holded here and uh, we discussed when we discuss about this we we talked about um, uh, the field values right we, uh, it refers to that mostly that uh, <clears throat> uh, apart from uh, you know parameters there are other values that will be stored uh, that that will be stored as a field right so this is what it is the form field okay so if you see here it is showing me as like triple six us dollars right however here using this particular application um i holded the process okay i, I holded the traffic means i i hold that request which is going uh, from my browser okay using this tool and i'm going to edit it here i can edit the form value here 
okay so earlier it was triple six us dollars now i make it as six us dollars and i click here to run to completion that's it okay and if you see here <coughs> now it is only six us dollars so earlier it showed me as like triple six us dollars if you see now it is only six us dollars and uh maybe i can stop that rule so that going forward then i can execute it from here so that if you see here i have manipulated the amount okay which is actually quoted by uh, the person who want to sell his laptop for triple six us dollars and i manipulated it and i i'll pay only six dollars okay see i once i given uh, my password and proceed for purchase it says that your credit card number so this is a dummy credit card number whatever we registered it for the student one account right <coughs> i'm sorry so we'll be charged for only six dollars so by manipulating the original value uh, i compromised to this web server okay and i purchased uh, this laptop only for six dollars so this is what uh, uh, hidden manipulation means hidden field manipulation is basically i'm manipulating the field which is hidden right uh, maybe i can show you again uh, if in case i'm not manipulating the value what it, it originally shows right okay again it i'm going to the same home page it is showing us like triple six us dollars if you click here buy it now see it is only triple six okay it's not six dollars and if in case i'm not manipulating it see this time it is asking me for it it tells that triple six us dollars is credited so charged from my credit card but the same laptop we purchased it for only six dollars earlier so like this we can uh, manipulate many informations and we can uh, use uh, anything in the way we want okay uh, so you just consider if there is any other uh, you know shopping portal where uh, not only shopping portal wherever payment involves there are possibility if the uh, uh, application the web application is vulnerable uh, the attacker can change the value okay um, he can change the value and instead of making a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars payment he can make it to one dollar and he can cross the payment and uh, you know make uh, <coughs> make the query true and he can get the content okay he can get the access to it or he can get the product okay so this is what uh, hidden field manipulation is maybe we can uh, try with some other products as well okay maybe electronic and photography okay again <laughs> there is another laptop it shows us like 1200 us dollars okay and if i want to purchase it okay again it is showing 1200 dollar again buy it now see i have not manipulated anything and now it is showing us like 1200 us dollars for this particular laptop right maybe what i'm going to do i'll go back i'll put a rule to hold it now if i click buy it okay this request is not sent to that server instead it is captured here i can go here okay and see as i uh, as i said earlier this is an uh, form field right uh, this value this is the value wa which we uh, saw in the <coughs> auction port portal right 1200 us dollars so I'm just going to make it as ten dollars. Okay, run to completion, and let me. We can show you here once. See, once I make it as a ten dollars, as this website is vulnerable, I can manipulate the original value, and I can make it in the way I want. Means the attacker will manipulate the value, and he can make it in the way he want. Okay and um, so now then what i'm going to do i'm going to disable this breakpoint so that i can proceed for payment from there itself no need to come here again and again so i'm going to give my password and once i submit it only ten dollars will be charged okay instead of thousand two hundred dollars see 
only ten dollars is charged for this thousand two hundred dollars worth laptop so this is a big loss for the person who sells it right because i purchased it only for ten dollars so it's not not only limited to this example uh, this is one small example um, which we can perform the uh, you know hidden field manipulation there are a lot a lot of uh, other ways also we can do it and um, we can change whatever things we want